What's up guys, it's Big Belly Bob, and do I have another full belly banger for you. Today we went to our favorite chicken spot, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Yes, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Uh, the closest one we got is in Anderson, Indiana. A little bit over, about a, about a roughly about a 30 minute drive outside the city. But it's worth it because A, you get to snack on some stuff on your way back, and then everything is good. You know what I mean? Everything is just fire, guys. Like I said, everything is on point. Um, it's like you get things from there that you don't get from Popeyes. I mean, you do, but you just don't get it made the way that they're made at Lee's. So that's why I still stick to my gun, and I say that Lee's famous recipe chicken is better than Popeyes, all right? So before we get into this video and you see why I say it's better, I need you guys a thumbs up, comment below, share, share to the world. And if you're not already subscribed to Big Belly Bob, not mad at you, and if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that, <clears throat> that subscription and ring that bell. That way we can be connected on a daily basis, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and pray over this meal because I, I tend to forget to do it for you guys on camera, but I, you know, so I'll make sure I do it today. All right, guys, so what I have on here from Lee's, all right? I'm gonna start off, let you see that chicken, man. I just wouldn't put a piece of everything. I don't plan on eating all this right now. You never know, though. But you got your nice, crispy, gigantic chicken breast. It's like half the plate. You got a thigh on there. Got a wing and I got a leg, all right? And we're gonna put some of their uh, their famous um, bonsai sauce. All right, last time when I got the chicken sandwich, I forgot the bonsai sauce. This time we made sure we got a couple extras. All right? You can see up front, I've never had the chicken pot pie, but do you see the crust on that thing? This not just look golden and crispy and just ready. Oh, I can't wait to get into that. That's going to be the, the main thing I eat today besides these sides. The other thing is the mashed potato and gravy is good. The mac and cheese is good. All right, guys. You see that? The biscuits are fire, but I really want you to see those red beans and rice and all those vegetables and you see them nice tomato. It's just, man, it's just loaded. It's not like the normal red beans and rice you get from Popeye's or churches or wherever I forget which one but it's not the same because this one you can see all the stuff in it it's kind of more like a, like a chili or a thick soup in a way to say because it's just got a nice sauce in there with it um, the biscuits I ate one of these hot in the car on the way back and it was just so it was just so soft and man all I'm gonna say is once again, I won't go to Popeye's if I got a chance to go to Lee's first. All right? So let's get this bonsai sauce out of there. And we're going to try one of these chicken legs or something with this sauce on it. I only brought one down. So I'm going to have to kind of, oops, see that's, that's smart. I'll let it drip on the other piece. That's with that bonsai sauce. Okay. How much you can give me? Like, no, that's just not cheese. That's just that. You can't just say this is just any everyday ordinary chicken. It's like it's got a nice. Crunchy exterior. But it's not all tough. I'm not even saying powder is tough, but the skin can kind of just, mm -hmm, it just doesn't go right sometimes. I don't know. Or they just fry different in different places. Or sometimes it be kind of rubbery and just kind of hard to chew. Chicken doesn't stand a chance, guys. His wings out there. Yeah, I wish this bonsai sauce they sold it in the store. I'm 
know what it said so far back. How much look at my dead bodies up here, my dead <laughs> parts. <laughs> Let's get them out of your view so you can see a better view of this chicken. Let's get some of these sides. Let's get that macaroni and cheese. You definitely can see the cheese on there. Oops. It's probably not a bad combination. <laughs> Mac and cheese is good. Like I say, to me, mac and cheese is just mac and cheese. If it's not like baked mac and cheese where it came out the oven and your mama made it, it takes a lot to impress me on that. But when it comes to like gravies and stuff, I always give you a bite of everything. You know, it's just mashed potatoes and gravy. I'll give you your bite first. But nice creamy mashed potatoes. Nice seeds and gravy. Well, I'll give Popeye's credit because I do like that Cajun gravy. So, they get a win on that. But the star, I'm going to do my best not to spill it here, is those red beans and rice. I'll let them linger around and hang out for a while. You see all that? I want it to be clear. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to the beans. I mean, it's like, like a like a jambalaya almost. I mean, it's just I was missing some sausage. I'm gonna eat all that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna play around. So every video I'm gonna bring up. About you guys doing my $200 taco challenge. I either get to eat ice cream or a walking taco. So it's a very easy challenge. And once you do it, participate, you get entered into a drawing where two people will win $100. And there's even a side challenge on there. For additional 20. You have to watch my videos to get all the rules. I'm just gonna bring it up until the contest is over because $100 to one person is a decent amount of change. And the fact that two people is gonna get it is even better. I should have warmed up my biscuits again, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna take anything away from the biscuit itself. Sauce here. Mm -hmm. Put that over there. I'm gonna just finish off this plate so I can get it out of the way. But the sides are so good. I don't have to eat the chicken. I don't eat these sides. I should have got some of the green beans or something. And some locations have a lot more size than this place had. When you go online, they got a southern style cabbage, potato salad, um, fried okra. They had a lot. This one didn't have a few. And then they were, we didn't want to wait around for the pickles. So we usually get the fried pickles too. Extra 
crust down here. Mm. Nice bacon, buttery. Mm. Let's see what's inside, guys. I don't know if that's a good view, but I'm going to pop the top a little bit more. And let you look inside. Man. You don't need to see the crust. You just need to see that. Nice big old piece of chicken coming out of there. Oh, yeah. Did you want some of this pot pie? No. Just making sure before I eat it all. All right, I gotta go ahead. I don't have to savor any. So, let's eat this. We go chunks of carrots in there, you got your peas. You like it? Do you compare it to Popeye? If you never heard of Lee's, I advise you to look it up. You might have one in a small city somewhere close to you. You never know because this one wasn't located in Indianapolis. It was located in a little small town, you know, 25 miles north of here. 20 miles or however far it is. I think it's like 25. And are you willing to drive for some food? Or do you just settle for what's local? Like, well, I want some chicken. I know there's good chicken, but I don't want to drive there, so I'll just go get KFC or Popeyes or. To me, this is like. I just use hamburgers. I want a good hamburger. I got taste for a hamburger. It's not always got to be McDonald's either. When I want McDonald's, I say I got taste for a McDonald's Big Mac or Quarter Pounder. But when I say I got taste for a burger, I want a good burger. So that's like going to say a Red Robin or even a Buffalo Wild Wings burger or a McDonald's. So I compare it like that. I'm either going to get the gourmet meal, like considered, or what I can get every day. Even though the people in Anderson are blessed with being able to eat this every day, so they're probably like, oh, I'd rather have Popeyes or something, but who knows? But the line was off the chain. Um, of course, Popeyes line is off the chain too. But it was it was busy. We had a nice waiting line. But the food didn't take long. Like I said, it was piping hot on the ride home. But I definitely ate like two pieces before I got here, so. <laughs> I said I was going to eat half of it, but it looks like I ate two-thirds of it. So I'm going to set this back in its nice Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Pot Pie Box. And then, it's not over yet. I am going to eat 
eat another piece of chicken, pry this breast, or half of this breast. You see how big that breast is, guys? That's a big piece of chicken. Maybe that should be my thumbnail. Leaves chicken. It's bigger than your head. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of things that are so huge. I had some gigantic egg rolls. And if these aren't chickens on steroids, <laughs> this chicken is huge. I want some of this bonsai sauce on there again. But at the same time, I want a little of that on there. And this is the spicy chicken. You know me, this only takes a few drops and that was a glop. <laughs> so I am going to generously not eat all that in one bite. But I do want to eat it on the chicken. Diva has joined me, so that must mean the distraction we gave her, we're off. I mean, we put something in her ball and she took out that. We know it takes her a while, but she made it pretty quick today. Probably because she had to ride back in the car with us, smelling it, watching us eat it. It's been fun. I'm gonna finish the rest of my food by myself. But, thumbs up this video, comment below, share it to the world, share it to the world. And once again, I'm Big Belly Bob. <laughs>